What's good, y'all boys? We back with another video, man. As you can see in the background, I moved into a new place. You know what I'm saying? Moved in like two days ago. Yup. But we still don't got no furniture yet, no bed. So, but don't worry, I'm gonna get that soon. And hopefully, a little table and chair. Cause right now, I'm on. I'm sitting on the ground doing this video right now. I'm sitting on the ground. Um, yeah, today's video we're going to be reacting to a school bus fight by Lem's World. Got nothing else to say, so, um, yeah, like and subscribe, man. Let's get to it. Two, one. My boy just turned this whole thing into an anime fight, and we... There's nothing funnier to see than a school bus fight, unless it's happening. Bro, this damn Wi-Fi, bro. Hold on, y'all. I got some Wi-Fi issues. All right, chat, we back. Let's see if this thing works now. were very strict when it came to fighting in school. Rule number one, no fight. I was the only one allowed to fight back, but never be the instigator. Rule number two, always protect your brother at all times. My brother That's always true. told me if my brother gets into a fight and I was there and didn't help him, I better come home dead. Rule number three, never fight fair. Fight like your life depends on it. And for the most part, I follow this rule. I stayed out of trouble, kept an eye out for my little brother. Yeah, but I was a boy, bad. and boys fight about it. Me personally, I don't really know how to fight like that ass. I don't know how to fight, so I always try to stay out of trouble, you know? Anything. I've seen so many school fights. I've seen boys fight over a girl. I've seen boys fight over their reputation. I've even seen boys fight over nothing. Some fights, no one can figure out why they started in the first place. But you know what's the worst thing about school fights? Losing a fight. People fight over you anything. Start fighting, you better fight for your life. Because if you lose, the whole school will roast you. Losing a fight is so bad for your reputation that you might as well consider moving to another school. Now, my school had a no fighting policy. Penalty for fighting was an automatic three-day suspension. Now, remember, my parents don't play when it comes to getting your education. So getting suspended for three days is a no-no. So, it was Friday afternoon. Now, as a kid, Fridays are the best day. It was the end of the week. No more school. No more homework. No waking up early in the morning. Yeah, Every bro. kid looks forward to the weekend. Now, as usual, right after school, the kids would line up, get on their assigned buses, and go home. So, the school bell rings. I get on the bus and sit on my seat. But here's the thing. Our bus driver had rules also. Rule number one, no standing up. At no time during the bus ride should anyone be moving. Rule number two. Each person must sit at their assigned seat, which sucked because you don't get to sit next to your homies. Rule number three, no eating or drinking on the bus. If you found eating or drinking, that's a write-up. And rule number four, and most importantly, no fighting. Fighting in the bus gets you banned. So we're on our way home. Now my stop was the last stop, which means my ride took forever. Now on the bus, we had an unspoken rule. Never fall asleep. Once you're asleep, the prank's on you. You might wake up without a shoe. You might find your book bag missing. You might yep. have drawings on your face. Anything That's why I'm gonna try to sleep on the bus. For some reason on this day, I was tired. So I made the mistake of falling asleep. So halfway through my nap, I wake up to slap. I open my eyes and the whole bus is laughing at me. <laughs> now I'm living. I couldn't believe someone slapped me. Who slapped me? I look around and no one's answering. So I turn to the kid next to me and I'm like, You better tell me who slapped me before I. It was Rob. He did it. So I look towards Rob and the kid's dying laughing. Now I'm heated, but I had two options get off my seat, get to Rob, and slap the taste out of his mouth, or let it go. Now remember, biting on the bus gets you bad answers. So I'm thinking, come on, Lamb, just be cool. Don't let peer pressure get you in trouble. Then, from the back of the bus, I hear, Lamb, you scared? You better fight back. Now the whole bus is looking at me for the next one thing. Even that's one thing about kids, bro. They always trying to instigate a fight, yo. They always trying to instigate a fight for no reason. The worst. All the girls got their eyes 
one's on me, but trust me, there's no worse pressure in this world than women. Now I have to do something. I can't go back to school and let everyone think I'm a punk, so I'm like, Rob, I'm gonna F you up. So I get off my seat, run towards Rob, and slap the hell out of him. Then Rob goes for a punch, dead at my face. I see it, move out of the way, and I'm going to train the draw. Then I proceed to give this man the two pieces. My boy turned this whole thing into an anime fight, bro. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. Next thing you know, Rob and I are fighting all over the bus. From the back all the way to the front, now it's getting out of hand. The bus driver's trying to separate us with one hand on the wheel and the other one on us. Which is crazy because the bus is all over the road. One moment, we're all the way on the left side. Next, what? Yo, why can't you just stop the bus instead of just doing all that? You could just stop the bus. So he finally smashes the brakes, stops in the middle of the road, and kicks us off the bus. Next thing we know, he calls the principal and leaves. Now Rob and I are stuck in the middle of the road waiting for our principal. I hate you. I hate you too. It was just a prank. So? So a few moments later, our principal arrives, takes us back to school, and calls what? our parents. Now I'm panicking. I couldn't believe what I've done. I've been kicked off the bus and now I'm about to be suspended. My dad's gonna kill me. Boy, let me tell you something. There's nothing a parent hates more than leaving their child to come pick up their child for doing something stupid. I already knew I'm dead. Now the clock starts ticking. My legs start shaking. My eyes start watering. I'm thinking, damn, Lim, I hope mom comes. I really don't want it to be pops. And then I heard the door knock. The door opens, and it's my pops. I was shook. Anyone but my pops. So my dad walks in. Man doesn't even look at me and goes straight to the principal. A few Hold up, let me ask y'all a question. Would y'all rather get whipped by your mama or your dad? Y'all go ahead and just say that in the comments. A few moments later, he comes to me. So you were like, Yes, dad. Wow. The kid hit me first and I just fought back. So my dad closes his eyes, takes a deep breath and goes, Ooh. I did? That's my boy. So we get out of the principal's office, get home. Thank God I got to spend the next three days chilling at the crib. So thanks, Mr. Principal and Rob. So, more of the story. You teach people how to treat you by what you allow, what you stop. Yo, that's one thing about dads, bro. They go, once you get into a fight, they gonna ask you, did you win? And if you say yes, that's when they gonna be proud of you. Yo, his dad is so chill, dog. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end out the video right here. Y'all go ahead, like, and subscribe, and later.